Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to continue on with the series of videos that I've been doing for the Pushing PX888K. Um, in previous videos I did the unboxing, I did the menu features, and then also how to program it with software. Um, today I'm going to be showing how to manually program the Pushing PX888K. So let's get to it. Alright, so first thing, let's turn on the radio. You'll see here in the top, there's a big M. So what you want to do is hit escape, escape. And once that M is gone, you're good to go. Let's say you just want to scroll through and uh, have the radio scan looking for a channel. Hit your menu button, hit scan, hit enter, and it'll start scanning through channels. It keeps on finding them in this range, but it'll keep on going through and finding channels for you. You can hit escape. You can also use your dial up here to scroll through and look for channels. However, I uh, just to show as an easy example, I'm going to program in a weather channel from my local area. So that is one six two four seven five so there we have a weather channel that we can listen in on to now to store this into your radio you want to hit your uh, menu button Gotta hold it so you can see the screen here. And then escape. You'll see the M flashing, and I want this to be channel 69. Hit escape. That program or that station is now programmed into the radio. So uh, we'll go to channel 69 here. And there you are. Now I'm just going to turn this down for the next part. Let's say you want to name this channel because right now it uh, doesn't have a name. You want to go into menu and you want to scroll. This was just a pre-name for the channel, but we're going to rename it. So we're going to hit enter and then you can use your dial up above and we'll call it L for my area and then hit hashtag and I want to call it W hashtag and wrong way but so LWS so for my local area weather station and hit escape now, when we go look at the information for that channel, it'll have a name. All right, so let's get out of that channel. Let's say we want to program in a frequency for transmitting to another radio, in which I've already pre-set up this radio over here. Uh, you do the same thing again, you hit escape until the M is gone. Uh, you type in the channel. For this one, I'm going to use 160400. I'm going to program this in as channel 70. So I'm going to hit menu, escape. The M is flashing. Type in the channel number, 70. Hit escape. All right. So if we go back out and we look, Go to channel 70 and we have it programmed in. Uh, if you escape, it's just a hashtag right now, but there's your channel 160400. All right, so I know that I programmed this channel in as narrowband. So when we go into our menu and scroll through, So I'm wideband right now, so we want to change that to narrowband, so hit enter, switch it to narrowband, hit enter, 
and then escape to get back to your menu. It keeps on blinking, but anyways, we'll turn on this radio. We have it already set up for this channel. I'll just get a little bit of a little bit away. Radio check. Radio check. Radio check. All right, so we know that that channel is programmed in. And then I touched on some of the features when I did the menu. So one thing I want to show is the scrambler. So we'll go into menu. Find scrambler, hit enter. And we're just going to pick number five. Hit enter and escape. Now when I try and talk to this radio, it'll be scrambled. So both radios need to be on the same channel or uh, whatever the code is for that. So I just need to double check here. Um, I'm on Scrambler 5. So I'm going to go into this radio. Scrambler, enter, I'll set it to five. Enter, escape. So now when I talk. Radio check, radio check. <laughs> so that's how to use Scrambler. Now let's say I want to set up A and I. Um, right now I have it just set up with a name and I'm using MSK. It just seems to be the default, as I mentioned in previous videos. I'm still learning the DTMF and different tones and calling and all these weird things that it can do. It takes a little bit more to learn. So anyways, we'll go into menu. Both radios need to have this set up. So this radio here doesn't have a moon on the back. This is spec two. I'm going to enter, and I'm just going to have it set up for, uh, as mentioned before, this is uh, before uh, beginning of transmission, end of transmission. I'm going to set it for end of transmission. Enter, hit escape. So now this one is set up for that. And then you got to do the same to this one. A and I, end of transmission, hit enter, and then escape. This is the one with the moon crescent on it. So this is spec one, and this is spec two. So I'm going to transmit on this frequency with spec one, this radio here. And that name will show up on the screen at, when I release the button. So there you go. So that's sort of the, how you name and this way when you're transmitting to someone at the end of the transmission, it'll show your name. You can have it at the beginning of transmission so they know right away who's talking to them. But it's a cool little feature. All right, so the final thing I wanted to show with uh, programming these, sometimes you put a channel in, it's not working or you make a mistake. Uh, we're on channel 70 right now. You turn off the radio. Hit escape, then turn the radio back on as you're holding escape, and it'll say delete. Hit enter, it'll ask you, do you want to delete this channel? You say yes, enter. So now, uh, when you scroll through, we just have channel 69, but channel 70 is no longer there. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys out there. Um, if you have any questions or you want to leave any comments, leave them, leave them below. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe. I'm always looking for more viewers. I'm trying to build up my fan base. And I appreciate all the people that are supporting me thus far. Um, have a great day. Have a great week. And take care.